guys welcome back so I'm of course gonna start by priming my skin and today I'm using the Smashbox photo finish primer and just really pressing that into my pores now I'm taking the makeup forever ultra HD stick foundation I'm using the shade 117 I love this foundation it, you can make it super full coverage but it's really flawless looking never looks cakey for me I do like to um, blend that in with a beauty sponge and the one I'm using today is by real techniques I really love this one I switched back and forth between the beauty blender and this one now I'm taking the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour sticks I'm using the bronze shade on the outer perimeter of my face to really warm up the skin and then I'll go in with the contour shade and I'll put that anywhere where I would want something to recede so for me I'm gonna put that under my jawline under my cheekbones and on the very tops of my forehead And I'll blend that in using a small duo fiber brush. This stuff really blends like a dream. It does come with a highlight shade, but it's a little too dark for me right now. Um, but if you are trying to get into cream contouring, this is definitely something I highly recommend. Um, it's kind of foolproof. It really blends out super easy. I wanted a more structured contour today so I'm taking my foundation stick and doing some reverse contouring just running it under the contour area and then blending it in with my beauty sponge for my brows today I'll be using the Anastasia brow Wiz in the shade taupe and I like to lightly trace the outline for my brows and then go in with little hair like strokes to fill them in And I do like to go in with a concealer to really clean up under my brow and also on the tail of my brow. It just gives a really nice clean look. I never skip priming my eyelids before eyeshadow so today I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and buffing that in with a flat brush. I love this one in particular because it really holds the shadows on and it's also flesh toned so it cancels out any of the redness that's on your eyelids. Now I'm taking my Lorite Mega Pro 2 palette and taking this Skin Tone Custard shade just to set the primer that we just put down. And then I'll go with my transition shade. I'm using the shade Tawny, which is a light warm brown. And just putting this right in between my lid and my brow bone area. And this is going to help any of the darker shades that we add later blend in nicely. Now I'm taking the shade Burlap, which is a little bit more cool toned, and I'm taking a denser brush and really packing this into the crease area, back and forth, until it blends out. I always make sure each shade is blended before moving on to the next step, so I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending that out. Now I'm taking the Forest shade out of that same Lorac palette and moving completely out of frame so you can't see what I'm doing, um, but I'm basically taking that shade and working that in the outer and inner corner of the eye and then connecting it in the crease. To pack on the shade, I'm using a dense rounded pencil brush and just placing that where I want it to be. And then I'll take a tiny little blending brush just to blend that up to meet the brown shade. And then I'll take my other blending brush just with the leftover burlap shade on it to make sure everything is a nice gradient. Next, I'm taking this Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and taking the shade Damage. This is a beautiful shimmery green color, perfect for Christmas time. I'm just going to pack that on with a flat brush. And I will end up spraying my brush with Fix Plus and adding a little bit more just to intensify that shimmer. Thank you. 
Now I'm taking a little bit of that forest green shade again and just redefining my crease just to make sure none of the definition was lost after we added that shimmery shade. And then I'll go again back, of course, with the burlap shade just to make sure everything is a nice gradient. Um, eyeshadow does take time. It's a, repeating a lot of the same processes sometimes and people do get kind of aggravated with it. But if you notice that you're not um, coming out with the results that you want with your eyeshadow, it might be because you're not blending as much as you should. So just always keep blending keep blending keep blending and when you think you're done blending just blend a little bit more and by the way i am just taking a clean blending brush here and just doing a final run over everything Next up, I'm taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue and just tapping that right in the very center of my eyelids. This stuff is clear so it doesn't really disturb any of the color of the eyeshadow that you've already put on. And then I'm going to take my MAC Pigment. This one is the shade Pretty It Up and it's an olive shimmer and it's really really pretty on especially on top of this green color I'm gonna spray it with fix plus and then just tap it in the very middle of the eyelid with a tiny little flat brush I added the smallest amount of this I didn't want it to overtake the look I just wanted something to really catch the light right there in the center of the lid so once I had that on I just flipped my brush to the other side and tapped around it to blend it out to highlight and conceal, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear in the shade NW15 and just placing this in an upside triangle under my eyes and also down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. I'm using this in a lighter shade than my skin tone um, because this is going to highlight, which means this is what's going to stand out on your face. Earlier we did the contouring, now we're doing the highlight. This is what's going to bring out your features and give a more lifted look to the face. Now to show off my current obsession, this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I am loving this stuff for under the eyes. I like to apply it with my beauty sponge and then I'll go in and just dust off any excess with a Duo Fiber Brush. But this stuff is awesome guys. I was using the regular um, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but this stuff totally knocks it out of the park for me. I would normally cream contour my nose before setting my face, but I forgot, so I'm going to quickly take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan, run it down the sides of my nose, and blend it in with the beauty sponge. I finally caved and just bought the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers, and now I'm going to take that Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and just add a little bit. Um, we already cream contoured, so I'm not going to add too much. I'm just going to use this to kind of set that cream contour and intensify it a little bit more, and then I'll just take a little contour brush and just do the same thing with them in the contour areas. For the lower lash line, I'm using that same tawny brown shade and just buffing that in under my eyelashes. And I'm actually going to run it around and make sure that it connects with the same color that's on the top of my eyelid. And then I'm going to go in with my um, Jordana eyeliner. This one is in the shade Jade. I'm going to put that in my waterline and then set it with that forest green shade we used earlier. And then I'll take that shimmery green damage color from the Vice 2 palette and just tap that into the inner part of the lower lash line just to give a little bit of shimmer. And then I'll blend that burlap shade right under that. That way the lower lash line matches our eyelid. For my cheeks, I'm using the new Tarte Blush Palette and taking the shade Prim. And for my highlight today, I'm taking the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and just putting that on the tops of the cheekbones, down the center of the nose, above the eyebrow, on the cupid's bow, and I also like to put it in the inner corner of the eyes. I 
I wanted to use something less gold for the brow bone, so I'm taking this sugar shade from that Lorac palette and just putting that right underneath my brows. And then I'm going to shower myself with MAC Fix Plus. I love this stuff. It really adds some moisture to my skin and also intensifies all the colors and shimmers on my face. I highly recommend this spray. If you've never tried it, I definitely recommend you give it a go. I'm setting my brows in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just running it through. It's going to keep my hairs from kind of flying out of place and looking crazy. And then I'm adding lashes. The one I used today were the Ardell Wispies. I've been using the, what are they? The Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess for a hot minute and I decided to switch it up, but I honestly regretted it. I really need to buy some more Coco Lashes. Every style I want is always sold out on their website and it makes me so upset. But I'm going to blend those in with my mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is my number one mascara. I've tried different things, but I always go back to this. It just really um, defines all your lashes. doesn't really matter too much when you're using lashes, but for your bottom lash line, it's awesome as well. To be sure that my false lashes and my real lashes are completely blended in, I like to pinch them together with my fingers. You're welcome to use your tweezers if you prefer. Now I'm going to line my lips with the Jordana Lip Liner in the shade Rockin' Rose. It's just a brownie, mauve shade, um, and it's from the drugstore. Super cheap. Love it. Now I'm taking the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Nude, and then topping that off right in the center with the MAC lipstick in the shade Flesh Pot. That's it, you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you have a great Christmas and a happy new year and all that amazing things. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to go now. Have a good day. Bye.